Hello and welcome. So this video shows how to record a meeting in Microsoft Teams when the start recording is greyed out and not available. This is shown during a Teams call from the Go To More Actions menu. It's just not available for us to click. Even if the cloud recording is enabled in the Teams Admin Center, this can still be a problem. So we will show you how to check all the settings and solve this issue. So please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like and comment, and let's enable a recording in Microsoft Teams. Okay, so first thing to check is within the Teams Admin Center under Meetings and Meeting Policy. So if you don't have access to the Teams Admin Center, Ask your IT team or Teams administrator to check this uh, setting is enabled for you. Or an easier option, just send them the link to this video to show them how. So we can see we have a global org-wide policy in use for our meetings policy. This might be different for your organization as you may have another policy set up to just control different meeting policy settings for different users. In the next section, you can check if this policy is assigned or get your IT admin to check your user with the recording issue. So under recording and transcription settings, cloud recording should be enabled. As you can see, it's actually enabled for us and we still have the same problem, unable to record. So let's check the policy assigned to the user. Let's check the correct policy is assigned to the user trying to record. In the Teams Admin Center, we go to Users and Manage Users. We click Policies for the user not able to start a recording. And we can see the policy, Global Org-wide Default, with uh, Cloud Recording is enabled, shown in the last section. And it's assigned to the meeting policy for the user, Emma. OK, so we are still not able to start a recording, even though this all looks good in the settings for Emma. So next, we will connect to Exchange Online using PowerShell to see if the Allow Cloud Recording for Calls is enabled on our tenant. OK, so let's check if Allow Cloud Recording for Calls is enabled on our tenant. So we import the Exchange Online Management module by running the following command and we connect to Exchange Online. Next, let's connect to Teams by installing the Teams module. So let's get the Teams module installed and we connect to Microsoft Teams. Now let's run the get CS Teams calling policy command as shown to see what settings we currently have within our tenants. As we can see, the allow cloud recording for calls is actually false, so it's disabled. So now in the next section, we will enable this, but be aware this is a global level setting, so uh, it will turn on recording for teams for every user in your tenant. So you may wish to lock this down for certain users at a policy level to give them certain settings as shown previously in this video. OK, so let's enable Allow Cloud Recording for Calls and set it to true. We run the previous command to see if it is configured. Yep, so it's now true. So let's now retest a Teams meeting recording in the next section to see if it's worked. OK, so let's give Courtney a call. Go to More Options. And great, we can now see our start recording is enabled uh, and it's ready to click to record a Teams meeting. So let's stop the recording and the recording is automatically saved and available for us in the chat with an expiry time which we can change if needed. OK, hope the video helped you out. So please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like and comment, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.